Well, hello, Scorpios and Leos. Welcome to your love reading for the month of January of 2024. Well, Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday, Christmas and New Year's. We have your oracle cards for you. Now we're going to do seven cards out. And um, we're going to read the cards and then we are going to clarify them. Now, there are some things going on in your relationship. Some strong things, some healing things. Okay. Now, Scorpios and Virgos, please, if you have not hit that button on the right and subscribe to Thin the Moon Guidance channel, you should do that now. Like, hit that button right there. Join us. That way you'll, you'll know when I upload your monthly for each sign and then also when I do your love reading for the month. Okay, now there is love here. Also, do not forget to give us a like and share the video, especially with each other. All right. Now, it is some healing going on between the two of you. Almost like a new beginning. They're not seeing a rebirth, but it's some healing going. But I do get the the impression that one of you think the other one can rescue them from something. Okay, um, hopefully the reading will tell us more. But it's like you are the one that truly understand me and I know our souls intertwine. Okay, see you both care for each other, you both love each other. Um, one of you might be going through, like I said, going through uh, um, emotional uh, emotional times right now. Maybe um, there's been some grief or some kind, not within the relationship, but something else. Maybe you, you are going through a transformation, but it's some emotional. But they, they, they just saying in time, everything is going to be good. So just keep trying. Okay, and then um, also, if you're not married, uh, maybe there might be a proposal. All right, so let's get into this reading. The relationship for the month is you need to be focused on each other, okay? There need to be more focus on the relationship, right? Now, the feeling. Mm. Okay, it's a lot of passion between you guys, but is something stopping you guys from showing each other all this passion I feel within this card? Okay, the foundation for the month. You guys are really concentrating on the on your pentacles, on your bags, um, instead of nurturing your your relationship. Okay, so. <clears throat> Your connection might be off right now. Wow. Definitely off. Okay. So, to, to, you guys need some communication, more communication, but we're going to clarify. Okay. So, where you had it. Wow. A lot of you are thinking about the old times you guys were together. Some of you are even thinking about the future. You do want to be with this, hmm, this person. Um, until you old, you know, for the rest of your life. Okay. Now, your near future. Okay. Um, I'm crying over spilled milk. Um, it's 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 like something good that's gonna happen, and 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 and. Also, something kind of sad, but you have to look at the good in it. Are we clarifying, okay? <laughs> Advice. See, I I knew there was some kind of healing, and 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 uh, 
I do hear uh, there might be a celebration, maybe a, a proposal. Maybe. I don't know. And if you are married, you're, you're, you're. I, I see you have been focused, and this is like telling you to focus on your relationship, have more communication, and there will be healing within this community in, in in this unit. Okay. So I do see happy things happening if you if if you taking the advice of having this more communication within your relationship and having more focus on your on each other. Okay. All right. The energy right now. Yes. Then <laughs> Then it needs a, a whole lot of more communication. Someone is not, not speaking to the other or not telling the other. Uh, maybe even some uh, future goals that they might be having. Yeah. Or re-looking at. So it, it needs to be a more focused within the relationship and you need to talk more. You need to talk more. Okay. Now. This feeling between the two. What is this? One of you think don't think you get you're getting what all you need or what all you could have. Or it's something that you think is missing with within. Mm, okay, I got you. It's missing within the re re within the relationship in that prayer. Okay, and meditation and manifest. Okay, so if you think there is something missing, they saying it, it's prayer. You guys need to pray together. Yeah. And it, it, it needs to be more teamwork. It needs to be more teamwork. There's love here. There's affection here. There, there's enough um, love and affection for each other to make this, this a, good, a good unit. I'm telling you. You guys need to work on your goals together. Teamwork. Y'all love each other. Yeah. One of you have very strong in intuition. Very strong intuition. Yes. And also, I'm here, one of you, like I said, one of you guys are working. You're working too much, or um, maybe it's Leo. Yeah. Oh. So it, it mm. yeah, it, this is, it's like it's coming between your relationship, all the working. So this, this is going to have to change or either you're going to get a new job and it's going to, it's going to take you uh, far away from each other. But you guys have a lot of love for each other. Yeah. They saying your intuition is going to tell you exactly what is something coming between your your relationship. It's, it's causing it's causing you not to um, it's causing you not to want to nurture this relationship any longer. Who's the queen of pentacles? Who's the Okay, Leo, is this you? You want to venture to another place or it, uh, maybe it's that job. You want to try something new. Something that you've been manifesting. All right, Scorpio. You're going to have to get on this new, new bandwagon. Scorpio. <laughs> Okay, 
Yes, because this is going to be a new adventure for the both of you. So it might have been, this might have, this change, this coming about with this job or it, Scorpio, they saying you, or you already knew about this. Okay, um, I also seeing um, someone letting people come in between their marriage. Or also, I, 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 I see this move might be coming between the marriage. But if you guys be patient with one another, you guys have the love you need to make it through this. Okay? You, you want to you wanna grow old together. Yeah, you do. You have this strong love. They seem to stand your ground. This change is going to be good for you. See, this, this is what I'm saying. If some is a change there that's cause, causing a ripple. So, yeah. But eventually, you guys are going to work it through and celebrate. You guys are going to work it through. Okay, so that's what I see. That's why they're telling you to have a lot of communication this month, okay? Go on dates. And if you're ready to propose, it's time. Because how many times they going to say it? And this is going to be a healing time growth. That's what I'm hearing, yes. Because Scorpio going to do is going to get on board because they know they're going to have to do teamwork and going to do more focusing on the, on the relationship and the family. Oh, <laughs> sorry, you know that was sweet. Okay, and then Leo's not going to think that no burdens and. And, and, and Scorpio, you're going to see things a little bit clearer. Um, that's going to be like, it's, this might even happen like in, in the mid-month mid of January. Whether you're going to have this ripple. I see some of you, it's going to be a job. Others of you, is this, you know, you want marriage. Because you, you, you just want, you, you want to be, and you know that you guys are soulmates. And you want to be with them until you're old. So now is the time. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So good communication more than, than usual this month. Okay. For January 2024. But you guys got this. All right, Scorpios and Leos. This is what I have for you. For January of 2024, I am sin, the moon goddess, and I 